and welcome back. It's now time for our cooking segment. As you know, the big game is this Sunday, and uh, you're more likely going to probably lounge around or host a party or maybe even attend a party, and with that comes eating and a lot of it. So why not make something healthy so you don't feel so guilty, right? Exactly. Stephanie McGrew from Lone Star Physiques is here this morning to uh, tell us a little bit more. So what you did is you took some popular uh, snack ideas and turned them into something healthier. Exactly, because this is just known as a national weekend to just eat mm -hmm. pretty much everything. So I know there are some of my clients as well as some other people out there that are trying to stay on track with eating healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, so what I did is I just created some healthy snack options for those who kind of still want to indulge a little bit, but still want to stay on track. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about some healthy alternatives when it comes to, I know, you know, chips and dip is a right. real popular uh, snack item and uh, even some chocolate. Uh, and you brought some healthier variations of, of each of those for something salty, something sweet. So let's go ahead and talk about each one of those. So um, my main thing that I like to to tell people is you can have candy bars, but I say um, you can also use like protein bars mm -hmm. and just cut them up. And that way you're not sitting there and just eating a whole mm -hmm. candy bar or a protein bar. You can just have, you know, it's like a snack and you want to snack throughout the, the game. And there's so many different flavors. So if you oh, want goodness, your chocolate yeah. fix or your peanut butter fix or your sweet, And this you know. is the brand that I got. Um, you can get them at Walmart. They're mm -hmm. really, really affordable and cheap. And okay. there's a ton of protein in them. And um, they have chocolate mint, mm -hmm. chocolate brownie, peanut butter, and then the cookie dough. Okay. So. Now let's talk about pretzels. I love pretzels and this is one yes. of my favorite snacks, but I didn't realize I've had the, the bigger version of ones, but these are mini. Th yes, those are mini. So that way, like I said, you get the feel like you're snacking, but you're not sitting there eating just a whole handful mm -hmm. of pretzels. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and eat these. Yeah, and then also have pita chips. And you can also, um, I know in a previous segment, I made homemade tortilla chips. And mm -hmm. all you do is you get a tortilla, turn the oven on 350, um, cut it up into strips. Spray it with a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle some salt. Put it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes, and you have homemade tortilla chips. And what is this right here? This is beef jerky. Ooh. So that's another good mm. option, and there's all kinds of flavors. That's Ooh. chili lime. Ooh. Well, I'll, I'll yeah. A little bit of jerky. Yeah, go right ahead. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Drink water. Yeah. Water. And then, of course, we have a little trail mix. Trail right? mix, yes. And I always encourage people to make your own trail mix because... Um, not to say that the store-bought's bad, but with this one, you have a little bit more control over what you can have. So, mm -hmm. as you can see, I added some dried cranberries, some peanuts, some Cheerios, or you can use another sugary kind of cereal. That way, you still get the salty and sweet, but it's not like an overload of sweet. Mm -hmm. And what's this purple one over here? It's a Cheerio. Oh, that's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's yeah. jerky. <laughs> I like that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about dips, because I know that, of course, with chips comes dip. Exactly. And this is a little fun one, because you made a little... I can't really... Prop it up because I don't want to spill it. But you made a little football field. I did. Oh, fun. And so, um, as you can see, I have salsa on mm -hmm. either side. Mm -hmm. And you can make your own salsa or just do the store-bought salsa. Okay. The way you can make your own salsa is with a food processor. Get tomatoes, um, chop up some onions and some bell peppers. Use a little spices, and there you go. I think you put our way too many players. <laughs> Penalty, too many players on the field. <laughs> and then I use, as you can see, cheese cubes as the players. And I use a little Cheerio to represent the football. And okay. then the um, the middle dip was, what I did was I used um, Greek yogurt, uh -huh. a little bit of green food coloring, mm -hmm. and then um, Hidden Valley has these awesome Greek yogurt dips that you can use, and it's a great healthier alternative to using your typical um, ranch or, um, what is the, the um, what other dips are there? There's all kinds of creamy, yeah. creamy dips that you mm -hmm. can, and this is just a lot healthier because it has less calories, less fat, mm -hmm. and more protein in it. And you did the green to represent the football the field, football which field. I love so much. And then the field goals, we can't forget about those. <laughs> yeah, they're a little... They're a little heavy, but that's okay because <laughs> we're just going to eat them. What did you make these out of? <laughs> those are out of beef jerky, like the sausage link sticks. Mm. Perfect. So, all right. Just to kind Fun. of have something fun and... Especially if you have, if you're going to a party and you want to bring something, this is a great option and it's healthy. So that way you can snack and enjoy the game. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue snacking. We'll yes. come back, <laughs> recap everything, and then let everybody know where they can find all of this on our website. Sound okay. good? Sounds good. And if you're just joining us, we're in our kitchen with Stephanie McGrew of Lone Star Physiques. And we just showed you some healthy alternatives to some fun uh, snack ideas when it comes to the big game coming up this Sunday. And exactly. we've literally just been snacking on this <laughs> throughout the entire we're break. Vultures. <laughs> vultures. Yes. And this is something really cute because I know that chips and dip is really popular when it comes to uh, game or uh, not even games, but just parties in general. Yep. And you 
made a fun one because you actually turned uh, a, a regular dip that you might buy, you know, prepackaged mm -hmm. into something healthy by making your own. So talk about that really quickly. Yes. Yeah, so what I did was I used um, Greek yogurt, and you can use any kind of Greek yogurt. Um, and I, like I said, you can use Hidden Valley has all kinds of season packets, mm -hmm. and you can I've used all of them for my Greek yogurt. And you have to kind of play around with the ratios and make sure you don't use too much. Um, and then I just mix that together. And then, like I said, for the occasion, I used green food coloring mm -hmm. and just created. And for the football players, we just used cubes of cheese. Okay, so who's which one's Peyton Manning? Um, the I one with the football. Okay. <laughs> this one's Tom Brady. He's watching from the from the <laughs> from the seats. He's he's in the audience. <laughs> well, there's. Oh, and now he's eating. Now he's in my stomach. Well, there's some other options, um, and these things you can get at hy um, and if you go to hy V, you can see the Lone Star Physiques end cap, and those are items that I personally go in and pick, and they're all very healthy. Um, these are called somersaults, and they're just like a baked pastry. They're really good. They're really good, and they have several different flavors. There's chocolate, there's pa um, cracked pepper, and then there's also these protein chips. I'm all about the protein chips because you get the protein, and you get to enjoy the satisfying of eating chips. Um, so these are also a great alternative and then like I said for you know for dips you can do the pita or mini pretzels or you can make your own homemade tortilla chips. Love it. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. Just click on the Good Morning Heartland feature tab at the top of the homepage. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope you have a fabulous weekend and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 5.30 a.m.